Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. That's that's the thing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the ESOC Grand Tour number three. This is the Supremacy Cup number one. Round of eight between Kaiser Klein and Maito. Kaiser Klein, the tournament favourite, going up against Maito, one of the greatest players of the recent times, but uh, has come back from a recent break after nerding it out in Age of Empires 4 for quite a bit. Bit rusty in this game, but a lot of experience behind him. Should be a good series. I was chuckling to myself as this game loaded because Kaiser Klein is spawning to the west of the map. In the west, in the colour blue on the map, Baja California, playing as the Germans, but Maito playing as his favourite teal colour, playing as the Ethiopians. Oh, I'm ready for the salt. I'm ready for the layman. I'm ready for all the, 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 the good, the bad, the ugly side of Agent Empires 3 to rear its head at the moment. Ethiopians are incredibly disgusting to see at the moment. And uh, Kaiser Klein's salt is likely to happen today. So buckle up. This one's going to be good. Where is um, where's Maito Zabin? Oh, that comes in the shipment, doesn't it? Oh, keeps the pipe. Maito's Explorer. This is going to be good. I'm going to watch Maito's perspective mainly here just to get an understanding really of how um, Ethiopia play. But uh, Ethiopia, um, strong, quick change in eco with the cows training at the market exceptionally strong units and a bit of a uh, questionable mechanics chucked in there as well sending the two villagers on the Aben looking to uh, heal this guy up abs continuously regardless of this guy's in combat or not it's the only unit in the game which can heal a unit while in combat and breaks Age of Empires free theory but uh <laughs> Nissi saying I'm here for the guys assault aren't we all Maito trying to kite with <laughs> I love I love how we have a a unit with European Explorer stats, but on a horse. Like, how, how can you not kite a micro with a horse? It makes it so much easier. Uh, Kaiser Klein does see 95 wood. Does go try and deep. Let's see what's going on. A cow actually here for Ethiopia is huge. They can get that back onto the market. That will fatten up and trade. Mm, Kaiser Klein might actually see it. He doesn't see it. He's working on this treasure, and he's crack-shotted it. So it might have see it. Mito doesn't actually see it yet. Really good herding back at home. I do give him that. Oh, he sees the treasure. He sees it. Is that an Aben building this? Aben's building it. He really could go, in, really could go in and try and heal this up. But that, oh, he's, it's interesting to see what he does see. That grizzly bear will stay alive, actually. But to be fair, he should, he should be go straight onto the explorer. Just really damage it down. Bring the Aben and heal your explorer up at the same time. And make the most out of this healing mechanic. Treasure protection coming in. Will actually Maito range shot this one? He does. He does. Oh, doesn't quite pick up the treasure. I think there's a bit of a delay there between the um, shooting and the treasure gathering. Unless Maito really wants just to get Kaiser there and just bash him down. Where's that Eben? Oh, Maito has it. Gary gold at home. Um, it's a really good gold gatherer. Look at that. 0.72. It's like a it's like a Dutch coin gatherer, but. I, I, he could be winning the fight. He could be killing the German explorer here. Kaiser explorer could be dead. And the Kaiser tilt would be coming in. So I, I do have to say, miss that one. Oh, is this game... Is this, is this, uh, is this uh, the third game? Oh, that's a shame. When does the round of eight even start? Meant to start? I, I know Kaiser is very keen to get his games down early. But um, the more I thought about it, the more I was like, mm, I'm not too sure. Let's have a look. I'm just curious if anything, if more than anything. No, no, it's, it's played on time. It's played on time. Half three to five. And we're currently at ten past four. I think Maito missed a trick there with um, killing Kaiser Khan's Explorer and getting that full lane potential. There was opportunity to really... Um, put pressure now that Kaiser's kind of got a training post. Like with Germans, man, you can't you can't mark walk forward with a settler wagon and build a trading post in this map. The train posts are way too far. Um, where's all the cow gone from Mito? Is he has he um bought a cattle? What has gone on here? Let's see. He's just trade for a bit of gold, trade for a bit of wood, going for a train post of his own. 
Second TP from Kaiser Klein. Is Kaiser actually looking to go for a more of a traditional uh, semi-FF or just a fast fortress build behind this? Going for two TPs, very expensive. Going racks. Just gonna go fund. Just gonna fund his aggression here with shipments. Uh, interesting style. I need to pay attention. My uh, German H two is not great. Uh, we have a native embassy builder and a mountain monastery builder from from the age up. I want to believe this is the Sudanese age up here from Maita. I might be completely wrong, but he's going for J Switz influence. He does have twelve Sudanese. He doesn't have the um, Portuguese hand cannoneers there, which is. Um, Interesting, because that's a very strong unit to deal with versus crossbows. But I'll show Tell Warriors is a good unit here as well. Train Sudanese. Train Sudanese gets to ship the, the Sudanese. Everybody loves, everybody loves some Sudanese. So, so strong. So this is actually one uh, one also. If I will I put uh, I'll do that. There we go. That should have gone through. Oh come on. That. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Right. I'm back with it. I'm back with it. Two islands moving into Raider Villager. Being healed by the Aben, but not not quick enough. That Villager does go down. Uh, Kaiser scouts the Sudanese Dervish. They have a couple of pike seats in the training post, but this is. This is exactly what the, the Dervish really want to see. They can move and take that down, but a couple Gascanias here from Mito behind. I'm kind of just thinking, like, where is Mito's mass? Is it like that j Sweet influence just really is quite slow and not helping his tempo? Looks like Mito now sending four villagers instead of going on the offensive here with his unit shipments. Like, this is, these are the times in the game where Mito could be um, dominating these early exchanges with just super stupendously superior units than what Germany can muster in H2. And actually, without any desert archers or desert infantry on an African map, I'm struggling to see how H2 Germany can really deal with this, to be honest. There's his uh, crates of infants behind. The uh, Raj has been revived behind. I guess Kenya's been trained. Only one Zebu castle remaining behind. <laughs> what heals his units? Is it the um, monasteries? It might actually be the monasteries. Yeah, 0 0.5 per second. That makes that makes sense actually. Yeah, fair enough. How much do Zebu castles cost? A hundred a hundred gold of time to train them. Hmm. Takes a long time to um pay that one off. Actually, to get the return on investment on that one. Eight gas Kenyas here, nine dervishes. It really feels like not much is going on, and the entire TP line now is under Kaiser Klein's control, which is certainly not really what you'd normally anticipate in a matchup like this. Saber saying it's Africa still OP. Um, it's, it, it's I'm gonna say yeah, agree with Joe. That it's probably the strongest side. It's more on the fact it's unknown. I just I'm looking at this build here from Mo. So I'm, I'm not. I'm thinking it's not really hitting. It's ticking many of the boxes. What you want to be doing in a, a a matchup like this and B in general. But like now we get to the point of Gas Kenyas with Dervish and Showtel Warriors all together. These guys are dominating versus. Um, Crossbow units, they do pretty well versus pikes as well with that multiplier. Gas Kenyans just rip through, Dervish rip through, and full infantry here from Kaiser Kai is not really how you best want to play it here from his point of view. Mito here utilizing the Ethiopians to a very strong advantage, and you know, I'll, I'll be very happy to take this matchup if I knew how to play the Ethiopians. Stagecoach is in, one set back and trying to build a wall, and Mito starting to push forward. Shoto's on top of the Explorer. A bit of pathing through the, the bracks. Actually, a nice little choke there. Look at that position there for the um, crossbows. It's like a behind a wall, but the Shoto's, they don't mind. They've run through. They've greased up like butter, and they're going to go through that small gap and get onto the uh, crossbows. But uh, the Dervish on top of the uh, Ulans, actually. Um, the two actually into melee. They've had, no, they're, they're into the uh, stagger forma range formation. Most of the Gas Kenyans are, are down and out. I don't know why. Gary sees this. He's got to take the fight. 
And Crossbow's trading with the Dervish, but this is Dervish's territory. This is, they're doing melee attack at range, bypassing the 20% range resist that the Crossbow's have. And they're going to rip through uh, Pikes, Crossbow's, bit of everything. Minutemen being called, so Minutemen will to overturn this fight. More Shotels coming from behind here from Mito for the reinforcements. As soon as the Pikes go down, the Shotels come from behind. He's got so much wood. Where's this wood come from here from Mito? A bit of miss macro here in this final game of the round of eight. And uh, Mito has to retreat. Kai's Klein looking very happy with his defense. But this could all um, go upside down very, very quickly. Show towers 55, food 50, wood. Gas Kenyans, I believe, they're on the wood um, side of um, their cost. Mito's gone through um, 12... Sudanese allies as well. He can't. He can't stop off and lose the units. He's got. Got to pull back. But the three TP stagecoach here from guys is just carrying him in this game, and now sending in Dops, making pikes. I think he's aware that Shotels is what he's worried of. He's got enough units to deal with the Dervish and the Gas Kenyas. Yeah, his Gas Kenyas they cost seventy food, thirty woods behind. So heavy infantry here, shoring up Mito's infantry, but. Uh, uh, 12 range, to be fair, versus crossbows, they don't feel that overwhelming. They, they have many resists, they don't have any extra range than a normal musketeer. And a couple big boys with swords over here, the Doppelsunders, showing up that anti Shotel warrior defense. The Dervish looking to be in a good time. Have engagement up here, What's this? it's just a granary house. So many Dervish here with that Jason influence. Just three units basically of every shipment. This is like H2 Spash Gold, but with military. Mito having a nice little army here, and the engagement happens. The closer these Dervish get, the faster they attack. So there is influence of why they want to get in. And uh, does he have Shotels in cover mode there? He has Shotels in cover mode. How the hell do these units have cover mode? I suppose it's like Coyote Runners, though. They also have the cover mode. Hey, anyway, the um, Gas King is putting down the Ulan some range, and the Sudanese moving in to trade with the crossbows and pikes, and uh, I bet Kai's clients thinking, what earth is this? What do these units do? But uh, full Ulan's is actually a really good way to play into Ethiopia, as I found out earlier today on stream. Gets to the point that actually quite hard to mass gas Kenyas, and if you just sit on the mines, double stable, uh, you just overwhelm this by far, and I think that the TPs is keeping Kaiser ahead in this exchange. I think it's just Kaiser's had a good age one there, managed to get the 90 wood treasure, managed to get the age one uh, TP early in transition. They got for a second one, managed to take basically the entire line, stagecoach, double racks. Great position behind there, the crossbows, really hard for units to get on. And like now the, the military here is still strong here for Mito, but just not quite hitting that levels of numbers of units that uh, other players I've seen hit, but I suppose he's going quite on the more aggressive side. I wonder where these Abans actually even come from, from Mito's point of view. Does he have, what's this? If 10 years can be trained in the Commerce Age. Ooh. Wow, that's quite a big one. Um, yeah, it's the JSO influence here working. What's, he, what's the fight? Oh, he's whew. getting the Outlaw Rider. I thought he's taking on the um, full-on army there of um, Kaiser Climb. He's just cavalry at the Northwest Infantry. They're at back. I think Kaiser's looking to age. Yeah, he's aging up right now as we speak. Up, up to the next age with the uh, XR Prince, but he's going to lose quite a lot of cavalry here. Gaskin is doing a lot of good damage versus Ulan's. The snare of the Shotel, and there's less Ulan's to upgrade, but uh, a little bit of a raid. Keeps Mito's armies pinned, and Kai's kind of ages up with 3 TP stagecoach. I, I think that's that's the key thing to remember. It's the 3 TP stagecoach. This is insane. Always would eco from the TPs, and I think these guys could even sit on... on um, uh, amalgamation scene. He's got place of mines, but soon you can just go amalgamation to get a really good strong coin eco there. But he just needs the food for units. As long as as soon as he gets units to hold, he should be fine. Veteran bows coming. That does have one batch of skirmishers being trained as well. Uh, I like the idea of him focusing now purely on Ulan's. He's got his ranged infantry components. Actually, the um, cavalry, what 
Oh, that's a lot of Gascanias, though. That's a lot of Gascanias. Oh. Shotel Raid topside actually being led by the Explorer for Linus Sight. But Kaiser sees this actually nice and early with the wall. He does see that. So he will, will be able to position his army behind. All uh, Kaiser has to do is just sit on his coin mines for the time being, just to ensure that's going to be keep him nice and safe. One train post has gone down, now being taken by Maito, building it behind. I don't know actually who was actually building it, because it certainly wasn't a villager or something. No, the explorer, but I think he got pulled off to do scouting duties. He needs to go back and build that. Maito now walling up the chokes for the, for the raid and score from Maito catching up super fast. This is where this kind of more of his um not saying Grigia players are coming back in. Uh, I think I think he's already sent Big Benny one time. I think Big Benny's already been eaten. But um the market trade's not looking great at the moment, so maybe maybe wait until a Big Benny turns up to then trade in the market. Oh, what tech is this? Sudanese quilted armor. Please tell me what that is. I wanna say it's um ranged resist. 10% on all your infantry units here, which is going to be incredible versus Skirm Crossbow Army. There's a couple of ones chasing the Explorer. If this goes down, it's okay. You can just get to provide back from the town center for free because hashtag yellow swag in Africa. Melee resist. Melee resist. Okay, thanks for clarifying. I suppose, you know, you're worried that... Uh, the kind of the Z move from the cavalry here. Might, you know, might as well agent, agent up behind this. And Kaiser hasn't really got much of a push. Going for Black Riders, but there's no sense of cavalry by any sense of the word here from Maito. Why would you Black Rider versus this? I mean, Jaegers is excellent, I suppose. I, I think he's, he's, he's fearing the Shotel Warriors so much, but they are not the greatest units. Um, he's got enough hands inventory here, a couple of Dops and Pikes. I think it's more to say that you can probably get a better investment in war wagons and maybe a cav combat shipment than just Black Riders flat as it is. But uh, the Black Riders will run out this composition for the time being. Still has 26 veteran crossbows. But let's look at these guys. The corset armor has come in and... Has it come in yet? What's, 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 what's increased here? I don't think I don't think the armor's changed on anything. I I need to check what that tank does actually, but I don't think. Oh, he's cancelled it. He's cancelled because he wants the export for something else. He might be eyeing up a um, Senna Horseman. It's maybe what he's eyeing up for the time being, which I don't really blame him. That's a great card to send. Obviously, when he sees the Black Friars, he may have to think uh, a bit harder about that one. Neft Tenures being trained. Neft Tenures are yeah. Neft Tenures are really really good. Really strong. You've got so many Dervish still. You've got 26 Dervish. This is tense. I just feel the tense. Senna's are being called. Senna's on the way. So he's going to send a horseman. Skirm. The Skirm going to do the Black Riders. He basically needs to hold on. Oh, Ulan Raid on the, on the Priests. That's not ideal. Losing these are very expensive units. Not great. Don't really know how he's going to replace these Abans. They cost so much gold. And he really wants these to heal up the army. As, uh, well, they are actually at full HP because they kind of stood around the mountain monastery. It's passively healing. That explorer nearly fully revived, and that will come back at 620 HP in the base. Absolutely lovely. Uh, a bit awkward here from Maito. He's got, he's got, he's just got so much stuff. Like we uh, pay homage to Zuta Zuta and the more, Zuta Zuta more stuff principle. But look at all this. He's got. 15 left 10 years, 17 show tells, 24 gas Kenyas, and 21 dervishes. A batch of show tells coming out now. They all they all are well elite because it's just an infantry upgrade. And here come the five set of horsemen. This is the time to go if he's gonna go. And these guys tank so much ranged um resist. The black rise won't actually do as much as they hoped. The gas canyons and dervish ripping through the colonial pikes. Shotel's chasing down the crossbows. The crossbows are not firing. They're not firing at the moment. They just need to keep running. The Black Rider's doing a lot of work at the moment. And the Black Rider's proving me wrong when I said possibly another shipment type. There's only because of the uh, Senna Horseman reaction, but uh, five pseudo Mamelukes chasing down. The gas cane is getting close, like the Indian Sepoys just going in and just killing anything they, they find. Dervish up close to Black Rise. This is huge, but Black Rise do actually have 30%, 40% melee resist, so they actually resist Dervish attacks significantly because they do ranged melee attack. Oh, 
Kaisgar is still holding the score advantage, but I'm not too sure we're very best pleased with how that exchange has happened. Maito is be quite uh, proud of himself on that one. That was quite a good engagement. Maito Kao on the left tenure play from here. He does have 10 vills on chopping wood. That's a lot of wood gatherers. Needs to put them to uh, food very, very quickly. Back to the action. There's a dervish chasing down. Skirms, there's so many skirms now. He's kind of exchanged the crossbows for skirms, and oh, you're gonna see at least four go down here. And Mitre's in the back foot. How, how, do these, how do these games change so so quickly? Counter infantry rifling coming in, and there, there's the war wagons from Kai's clan. I think he realizes now he just needs to uh, get some anti cab. But what cav does Ethiopia really have? That's the question. I guess it's just Shotel Warriors. Like, Shotel is like the only type of cavalry unit they have. They don't actually have horses except for javelin riders or the Senners. And here comes the Shotels. And they're going to do some decent damage, but losing Gas Kenyas to triple infantry is. Oh, it's brutal. Might as well try and build another town center. Can't build out a town center this far into the open. Is that actually built by a wagon or villagers? I think it's being built by a wagon. Oh, well, that's going to go down. Shotels. Uh, no, not Shotels. Sudanese and Neftenia's moving in. And the Shotels are just charging. Only a couple Black Riders and a couple War Wagons. Actually, this is going to be quite a nice uh, catch here from Maito. Not the greatest amount of anti cavalry. And actually, now the Gas Kenya's in melee versus Ulan's. I just see plus 15s everywhere. But actually, these Shotels are getting picked off equally quickly as well. This choke now looking actually pretty good there for Kaiser, but I suppose some of his units are getting trapped. Oh, is that a drag box? Drag box confirmed. Even the best players use drag box. Use drag box if you will. And that town centre goes up. It was a it was a wagon. So uh, fair play. Still so much food, so much wood in Mito's bank. Mito packing so much wood, but there's a lot of uh, vills out down here as well, which um, Mito could get in on the action. Hammer Bobler saying, good day, good day to you, sir. Welcome to ESO Community, uh, the community home for Age of Empires 3 and the host of this tournament. So you may be coming over from the Drongo stream. Surprise, he's back for Age of Empires 3 for the day. Uh, I thought he's uh, full Age of Empires 4 now, but it's good to see him back and the community stronger with him. Only 15 f though, not too many. Might have been mass in show tells, doesn't he? But you could argue if he just went full Neft Tenures, he could do both the war wagons and the skirms, but the mass here from Kaiser Kind is huge. And that's essentially just having the full map control, gathering hunt on the south side of the map, having three TP stagecoach. Maito, his tribal market is out of castle. He's got no more castle behind us. He hasn't got the uh, nine castle card in age three. Meanwhile, Kaiser, he's on the food. He's got, yeah, a place of mine. Vilico, but he's just got so many resources. And Kaiser Clan taking a commanding position in this game between these two titans of Age of Empires 3. Abra saying an unofficial Drongo raid. Well, it's great to see why what's happened from Drongo. Has he had to go off? He's a man, he, he likes to do eight hour cast instance, so I'm sure he's still around. I hate Africa when I play O3. Don't we all? I've I never feel so much so much more stressed when I play versus Africa. I've, I've had a game versus Joe where it's like, oh, it's my first time playing. I'm just looking, and going, this isn't your first time playing, Joe. What on earth is going on? There's stuff everywhere. But the yeah, action is now moving down to the southern side of the map here. Has Mito seen? Oh, Mito has seen it. He's he's more than seen it. He's getting raided by Ulan's outposts are. Uh, keeping the Kaiser's villas protected. And things Kaiser can Kaiser can afford all his outposts because there's TPs on wood. This is the, the problem of not actually taking down the trading posts. That should be his target for Mito to kind of move in and capture himself. War wagon skirm defense. Interesting. You don't see many Ulans here actually. There's an Ulan raid topside trying to catch the villas underneath the town center. Kaiser kind of with 50 villagers, never missing a villager or a trick. Mito only on 41. So 50 vills and 3 TPs plus versus 41 and a couple of priests gathering some gold at a mountain monastery building 
I, I don't know. I don't know the idea of that one. <laughs> oh. when, you, when you take a ten, when you take a ten k scorched, you can kind of like breathe a sigh of, of like relief if you're uh, from Kaiser Klein. Well, the big boy, Mo the thing is, the big boy mortar. It's um, it's really good. And versus this, it's going to destroy the skirms. So that's what he wants. I think he's worried about the uh, war wagons, but he could bring his um, abens to heal. They are really, they are better healing than than gathering because if you can just keep that mortar alive for another ten seconds, get another couple of shots, kill five more skirms, and th those mo those abens have paid themselves off double instead. And it's just, I think it's just, it's just a player having an interesting take on a sieve, which they don't often play here from Mito. I see that Mito has a very interesting way of playing Mexico as well. He's, he's kind of gone off, um, he's gone a different route to how the community played them a little bit. So maybe we could see them another time when he plays some Moidra Empires. But at the moment, Kaiser just marched into town. Mito's on fields. Um, these are insane, actually. Three. Three vills worth of milling for 50 wood, and you can change between food and coin. Like, thank you. Thank you for that great bit of a uh, questionable. No, no, no. Let's, let's enjoy the game for what it is. I can't help, I can't help but let the, the uh, AOE 3 Africa Salt roll out myself. But, um, do you see Gas Kenya, Dervish, and Natenya coming back in? Only a couple of show tells now, but uh, versus this many war wagons. And the Cav Combat is in now for Kaiser Klein. It, it, if there was a better shipment to send them any time, it would have to be, you know, Cav Combat. This cements the strength of the army. Kaiser's at full pop. He, the next thing he can redo is age or just replenish. And yeah, one volley there from Skirms. You see Dervish just drop. Kaiser's on the edge of the map, though. He's got to be careful. Does he need to keep pushing? When he. I don't think it really matters. I think he's just going to keep on doing what he wants to do and dictating the flow of the game because he's leading and he's played this magnificently, it has to be said. Yeah, it's like 166 wood for a mill or an estate or both. It is absolutely insane. It is uh, very bustily broken. I don't quite understand the decision on that one. I think it was two I think it was two villagers per field and it opted to three without changing the price of it. So, I, I, I don't know. I don't know on that one. Gas is moving in. They're trying to get... They're just not attacking. I, I know you, you sometimes want to move in, get close first, but you can't just move in that far and not attack. Lost so many there. Ulan sacrificed themselves to skirms to get the range again, and now we've got the range. Uh, we're back to square one, and the infantry army, 171 pop versus probably at the end, maybe 110. 66! Not even... <laughs> I, don't, I shouldn't laugh, but... <laughs> Kaiser Klein just crushing all who stand within his in his path as the Germans. One of the strongest is in the game as well, but that's the European. GG well played. Yeah, well played. That's a really, really impressive game there from Kaiser Klein. Successfully holding back the African waves and yeah, just going for the second early TP barracks. I want to say Kaiser Klein went 700 wood first into Threeville just to kind of help secure that TP line. I might be dreaming that stage, but uh, I think Maito has such a large mass idea on that. That first push, he didn't quite get the job done when he needed to. Interesting take. He could have lamed Kaiser's Explorer to uh, heaven and back. Aben just healing the Explorer while Explorer's in combat. Not too sure Maito is a, a fully get up with that idea. And the thing is, if you have a healer which can heal your Explorer... You can take so many more treasures because you don't have to worry about HP. And I think that's been the best way to use the Aben in Age 1. And uh, Kai's guy and that TP could have got, never gone up. And the pressure could have continued. And um, yeah. Very nice. I think midstream counts better. I think Dervish don't count as population. Yeah, it's um, this timing might have good. The hit just wasn't, it wasn't great. In terms of engagement, the actual mass though was was really nice. Uh, you have to give credit there to um, Kaiser Klein's unit control. I think that's what separates Kaiser Klein from other players. Would be something along the lines of, you know, if, if Kaiser can squeeze extra, I don't know, five infantry kills from his mass of ten crossbows before he gets snared, then it just makes the remaining fight exponentially more easier. At, at this time, if I was playing versus Mito, the GG would happen. Probably at this 850 mark. I just would have been cleaned, but uh, Kaiser Klein. Good position to find the barracks. Good standard play. 
get to the third age. I take my hat off to the decision for the um, Black Riders. Kaiser Klein got them spot on. I called that one wrong. The skirm, the, the double rack skirm production behind. I think so. I think also there was two racks from Germany the entire game, so you always had access to make skirmishers. So actually getting that anti cav in there to to cover that while having the crossbow mass as well was a good play. So fair play there. Uh, you probably did, uh, unless it was casted on the uh, Drongo channel. I know the Drongo said so essentially all he wanted to watch was Kaiser Klein games. So I just cast in any, any game I can get hold of. But I feel that I'm pretty much all casted out myself, though. So I'm going to pass the baton on to somebody else who wants to carry on round of eight. Because I'm sure there's a couple of round of eight games to go on ahead. Let's see who else is ready or wants to cast in. Probably can't. <laughs> Can't do soon. Yeah, good. Oh, brilliant. Geeks is ready. Yeah. You want to take over, baby? Oh, there's a one in chat as well. Thank you very much. That's a very appreciated as well. Might actually do a bit of music practice. Oh, might even be. I might even be so boring. I might do some scales while I watch uh, the next couple of games. Uh, but has it, would Hazard want to cast? No. Would Hazard want to have a funny co-cast with his best buddy Geeks? Uh, he might. He might be tempted there. He might be tempted. Okay, right, boys. I'm going to end the stream now, and I'm going to pass over to Geeks. Uh, when the stream goes down, oh, what the, how the hell has Ungus met? Who the hell did Ungus be? What the fuck? What the fuck's going on here? Right, I gotta check all this stuff out. So much good content going on. Right, guys, see you later. Geeks up next.